Hello everybody, I am Lightning Flash and today we've got a restoration project. Okay guys, this is a 1982 Ford F-150, has the 306 engine. She's in some need of repair. Overall pretty solid, the frame's pretty solid, or at least it looks pretty solid to me. Just has a lot of rust. First video, or second video of this project, I'm going to be getting under it and probably digging under it to jack it up. I love the paint job on this truck. Obviously it needs, needs it redone and needs a lot of, a lot of body work. Let's go in here. A lot of junk. The headliner did fall down. Mirror fell off. I could I have one to replace this. Overall, pretty solid truck. Obviously in need of a lot of repair. See cover for this and that'll be fine. Ceiling's not leaking. I don't think the floor is decent on this side over here on this side it's well needs some work needs cab corners as expected not too bad in there around here need a lot of rust repair Needs a new fender on this side. I have one off another truck, a red truck. It only has one rust hole in it. Probably swap it out and that'll be done. I just love the bullnose body style that went from 1980 to 1986, I believe. Let's go on over to this side. No holes in the roof, but gonna need a need a new hood well let's open her up this thing's missing um belt's no longer on that i'm pretty sure we could get this engine to start Missing miss the spark plug, but a little bit of work. I believe we can get her running. These inline sixes were best Ford engine. That's what everyone tells me. That's pretty rusty right there. That's why it won't shut right. Over here, this sticks. down because I don't want it to get stuck. This fender's not as bad. I don't know if this one's savable. Might as well just swap it out. Come over to this side. The dash is in decent shape, but obviously it's faded a little bit. That door is really faded from the sun. Here's a problem right here. The floor isn't connected to the, I guess that's the rocker panel anymore, but it doesn't look like too hard of a fix because I don't think the floor is rotten the whole way back. A little bit of wear here and there. Uh, under there. I don't think it's too bad back there. No, not really. A little bit of rust. Definitely need cap corner. And on this side, this has been patched before. Might need a rocker. I don't know. It's solid back there, but. A 
little rusty back in there. This fender's pretty much gone. Overall, seems like a pretty good. Overall, seems like a pretty good project. I just love the way these bull noses look. This is the um, 1982. It's right before they put the Ford emblem on the grill. I forgot to show you something. Right here is all the um, specs of the truck. This truck, I'm pretty sure, was made in Canada. It's hard for me to tell. Yep, made in Canada. Overall, still pretty solid. Let's go look at the frame. Frame is not rusted out. But there's a lot of rust on it. And someone cut the exhaust off. It's sitting on the ground down there. Next video, I'm going to get it jacked up. Tires are really sunk in the ground. It hasn't been started for like 20 years. It just stopped one day. And my dad couldn't get it started back, so he gave up on it. Yeah, that, that tailgate needs a lot of repairs. I just love how it says, how that has like the Ford and painted, well not really painted, just kind of shaped out right there. A lot of junk in there. The sides of the bed aren't too bad. Got some holes there in the hole there. Yeah, you can patch that pretty easily. Let's go under here. This gas tank is not usable. It's already been unhooked before the thing rusted. It's getting pretty rusty, so I'm gonna have to get it off the ground soon or there won't be much left. Overall, it seems like a pretty good project. I believe the transmission's good. Won't have to worry about that. The engine wouldn't start. So I have to figure out why it wouldn't start. I'm pretty sure it has not, it's not the timing gear. It sounds more like the distributor to me. And people I ask say, when I ask them what they think it is, they say it's probably the distributor. So 80 bucks, and obviously now it needs a lot more than that to get it on the road. A lot of rust work. Wish there was rust work when he, my dad got it, but it's gotten a lot worse over the years. But I just love these old trucks. You might as well restore it. So let me open this again. So I need to get a new, a new distributor. I need a distributor, a battery, Oil change. Oil's not really expensive for this. And if we could get this started, then we're in pretty good shape. The rebuild kit for this engine is only like $300. I don't know how to rebuild an engine, but I mean, you can always learn. Overall, we're pretty good. Mostly everything's there. I mean, there's a thing that hooks to that's missing. That's not really necessary, I don't think. And in here, there's still antifreeze. If I can get this off. I don't know if you can see it, it's down a little bit, but there's still antifreeze in there. Okay, this cap's a pain in the butt. I got it. Okay, so I need a battery, a distributor, an oil change. I think I have to flush the radiator. A lot of rust work. So my goal my, 
goal is to do all the rust work first, get the frame all painted, get the frame all painted up, and then if I do need to put an engine in it, if I have a good body, if the body works already done, I'll have a body ready for a new engine. So next video, what I'm gonna be doing is digging a hole right there to get under there so I can jack it up. It's touching the ground, so I hope that frame is not bad right where it's touching the ground. It didn't seem to be too bad around the rest of the truck. In the back, it seemed pretty good. In the middle, it was decent. So this is my 1982 Ford F-150 full nose restoration video. Part two will be out, I'm not really sure. I don't really plan on making these every week. It's just gonna be whenever I get to it. Well, that's about it for this video. That's it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to keep it electrified. Subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell if you want to keep up to date. Peace out.